Hello everyone. Yesterday I made these YouTube subscribe buttons using Photoshop and Premiere Pro. But today I will show you how you can use them for your YouTube videos. You can download them through the link provided on the description below. So, let's get started. For mobile users, KineMaster is one of the free and easy-to-use video editor that supports green screen editing that is available for Android and iOS. So, let's open KineMaster and create new project. Then select your desired aspect ratio. Tap on media to import media files, then select your video. Tap on layer, then choose media to add another video to another layer. Then select your chosen YouTube subscribe button. Then on the right side options, tap on chroma key, then enable it and make some adjustments. As you can see, there are green lines on the top of our YouTube button. These are the remains of our green screen. We need to remove it, but the adjustment settings are already on its maximum level. Here's how to fix it. Tap on the key color, then select this green color on the middle. As you can see, it is darker than our previous key color. Look. We have successfully removed it. Then resize it and drag it wherever you want. Now it's the time to add music on it. Tap the audio option, then select your audio. You can also download this music on the description below. It's free and you can use it for YouTube videos. Then tap the share icon on the top, choose your resolution, frame rate and quality, then click export to save it. Now for Adobe Premiere Pro user, open Adobe Premiere Pro, then select new project. Rename it and choose the location. Then click on File, select New, then Sequence. Go to Settings and select the editing mode to 720p. It will set the resolution into 1080p by 720p. Then import your files to Adobe Premiere Pro to start editing. You can download these files on the link provided on the description below. First, drag the video on the timeline. Then 
then place the YouTube subscribe button on the top of the footage. Then go to effects panel. Under video effects, look for keying. Then select ultra key. Click and drag it to the YouTube subscribe button on our timeline. Then go to effect controls. Under ultra key effects, click the eyedropper tool then click on the green part of the screen. Resize it and place it wherever you want. If you want to add a watermark, place it above all other objects so that it can't be covered by other moving objects on your video. Hit enter to render. Then click Ctrl plus M to export media. Make sure that the format is H.264. Then click Export. Here's the result. Thank you for watching, please subscribe.